today I'm looking at what is required of me to do so that I can break all these limitations upon my life. In the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 12, the Bible says, from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. Only the violent take it. And by how means? What means? By what means? By force. So breaking limitation require a force. Only the forceful can break limitations. Only the forceful. If it is a matter regarding destiny, you need to be violent to be able to take the it. The Bible said in the book of Genesis chapter 32 and verse 24, and Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. The number one way to break out of limitation is you have to be desperate. You have to be desperate. You have to come to a point where you can say, I am tired of this happening around me. This and two change. things I saw from the book of Genesis chapter 32 verse 24. The Bible says, and Jacob was left alone. In determining your destiny, you need to be alone. When I mean alone, you need to shut yourself out of the crowd. You can't be desperate and be distracted. At determining your destiny, you don't need people. You need to be alone. Many of us want to break from limitation, but we never have that alone time with God. You want God to deliver you. You have to shut yourself. Number two thing I saw about him is that he wrestled. He took his brother's birthright, stole all bills that belonged to his brother. He didn't enjoy it. Until he wrestled for his life. Listen, you need to fight for your destiny. For you to make impact in your generation. You need to get to a point where you need to fight desperately for your destiny. Many of us are not fighting. We are sleeping. Depending on the prayer from your father. No. In the determination of your next level expansion. This is not a father and mother involved now. This is you fighting for yourself. What makes you think that you can wrestle against these people with the same mentality you have right now? The same power you have right now. You need to fight. Number two, how do you break loose from limitation? Prayers. You need to have a, a lifestyle. In the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10, the Bible says, And Jabez called on the God of Israel. He had a limitation over his life. The Bible says his mother named him Jabez because he gave birth to him out of sorrow. And that name placed a limitation on his head. But until he cried to God, his destiny was not announced. When people don't pray, the devil can manipulate their when destiny. When people cannot pray, the devil can do whatever pleases him with your future and your life. When people can pray, God can hear. When people can pray, God can hear. When last did you pray one hour without a break? When last did you even pray 30 minutes without a that break? That you shut yourself and you were praying desperate prayers. I want to digress a little bit. I want to talk about name as a major significant factor that limits people's destiny. So the name that you are being called can limit your destiny. His own limitation was his name. The limitation of Jabez was his name. It was his name. Can I pray for somebody here? Every name that is affecting your destiny. Every name that is limiting your life. I decree in the name that is above our name. The negative effect is neutralized in the name of Jesus. Say so before I bless you, I need to change your name. What you need is not a blessing, it's a change of name. What you need, automatically when your name changes, your life changes. Names are important. They can place limitation on your head. And finally, as I close in this session, how can you break limitation over your head? You can break limitation through anointing by impartation. Through anointing by impartation. Your prophet is your cover. Your priest is your shield. Your prophet is your cover. Your priest is your shield. That's what my spiritual father said, Pastor Dr. Paul. If you said. have a good father over your head, you are under a good cover. If you have a good priest over your head, you have a good shield. 
Whatever happens to him is permitted to happen to you. I mean everything good. Whatever is working for him is permitted to you work for you. You have a strong prophetic cover over your destiny. One word of declaration, things begin to happen. 